So up until now, we've only studied the motion of objects moving in one dimension or moving along a line. So naturally, the next step is to explore the motion of objects in two dimensions or the plane and to explore objects in motion in three dimensions, aka space. So here we go. We want to begin by letting the position of an object moving in space to be defined by the vector valued function, vector r of t, with the components x of t, y of t, z of t. And this is where t is representing time such that t is greater than or equal to zero. And I want you to make a note here that the curve described or parametrized by this position vector r is called the path or trajectory of the object in motion. So making a little love note here to ourselves, the curve described by the position vector, so the curve described by the position vector is the path or trajectory of the object in motion. All right, so again, very similar to motion in one dimension. The rate of change of the position vector with respect to time t is the instantaneous velocity of the object. So we can describe the velocity of the object as the rate of change of our position vector. So the velocity is the vector v of t that's defined as the rate of change of our position vector. So this is the vector with the components x prime of t, y prime of t, z prime of t. And again, similar to motion in one dimension, the speed of an object moving in three dimensions is the magnitude of the velocity vector. So we can describe the speed of the object in motion by the non-negative scalar valued function defined as follows. So that this is the speed is the magnitude of our velocity vector, which of course we know is defined by the distance formula. So we have x, the square root of x prime of t squared plus y prime of t squared plus z prime of t squared. And practicing good algebra here, we know that this there are parentheses around that argument or the radicand. And last but not least, the acceleration of the object in motion is the rate of change of the velocity of our object. So the acceleration vector, vector a of t, is the rate of change of your velocity vector, or in other words, the second derivative of our position vector. So we can see the similarities here with the motion of an object in three dimensions to that of the motion of an object in one dimension.